Hey, I'm Hadley from House Beautiful. I'm here in Greenwich, Connecticut at Annalise Taft's house. And it was inspired by Philip Johnson's Glass House, which is all about the wide open spaces and gorgeous views. So let's step inside and she's gonna show us around. Hey! Hi! How are you? Good, good. good. yeah, you too. Thanks for having us. Come on in. So here we are in the foyer where we see gorgeous natural light and all of the wide open spaces that I think really sets the tone for the rest of the home. Was that something that was really important for you when you were looking for a house? We wanted to have a little bit more space and so glass, light, and an open environment was really important for us. I'd like to learn too a little bit more about this rug here and also the tapestry you have hanging up on the wall. Yeah, so this is actually a, an original calder. It's uh, kind of a sumac weave, it's a rug. You'll see a lot of rugs throughout the house, uh, obviously, because I'm in the rug business. I love that this is kind of a modern version of a sunken living room, which fits totally with the mid-century vibes. This house starves for color, and it's such a cheerful house. It has definitely the mid-century vibe. Flashes of color with light floors and lots of light outside, I thought was really appropriate. Yeah, and I'm also loving this bar cart situation in the corner. Where did you find this? Is it a vintage piece or did you pick it for the space? This is my husband's piece. He's a restaurateur and there was a Parisian restaurant in New York City that was vintage and they said they didn't need it anymore and he said that he wanted it and he's taken it with him for more than 25 years. It's from the 40s. It's a, it's a yeah. restaurant cart, which I think is super cool. Yeah. Okay, let's head into the dining room. I'm loving this mirror. Not only because it completely maximizes the space, but also because I feel like it'd be perfect for a good like outfit selfie pic before you're going to work. One hundred percent. Yeah. This mirror was actually here. It's pretty much the only thing that we kept mm -hmm. in the decor. But I did like it as well because but now if uh -huh. you sit here you can see the entire view, which is the most important aspect of you know being in this, you know, glass room. This house is full of gorgeous fireplaces. This is, would be like the first place that I would come hang out. So was this pre-existing or did you guys? The whole house had not been touched since the 80s. Everything was sort of like, I wanted to keep you know, the architecture the same and the mm -hmm. flow, um, but we just changed like the stones yeah. and the floors. And this room, we wanted it to feel really dreamy and relaxing. And again, we wanted to have a relationship with outside. In the day, it's great because obviously you can look out the windows. Yeah, and gorgeous. You can views just, again. you know, enjoy. Not enjoy a bad place a to bit. do it. No, <laughs> not a bad place. So, my favorite place in the in in this area in this wing is the master bathroom I can um, see why yes <laughs> so I wanted a very simple floating tub mm -hmm. um, obviously it's all about the view yeah. so this is really a place where I can sort of wind down So um, I'll take you out to the screen porch, which is one of our favorite rooms in the summer. It's, it's particularly nice at night because having the screens up mm -hmm. really provides such a nice atmosphere at yeah. night. Yes. Tell me a little bit about these pillows. As far as pattern goes, you can see I don't have a lot of patterns in mm -hmm. the house, but it has a more of a well-traveled sort of feel out here yeah. than just a plain woven. I made them all loose on the chairs so that you could bring them out to the lounge chairs and you could bring them out to the fire pit outside. They're not too formal, but they're also a little dressier too, which I think dresses up the more yes. you know outdoor fabric that's pretty durable. Definitely. So this feels like definitely the heart of the home. And where this the family is the heart and soul of the home, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Where are you normally? The sofa. It looks like sure. it's insanely comfortable. It's very comfortable. I actually designed this with a company called Jouf. <laughs> the reason why I designed this this way was because this one used to get yeah. on the back of my sofa uh -huh. and ruin my pillows all the time. Yeah. So I wanted to have a sofa that was comfortable still and that I could actually come home and enjoy coming into my room, yeah. seeing my sofa the way it was when I left. For sure. And I'm really happy with it. So, yeah, I love the silhouette, um, it's great. It's really, really comfortable. I'm just noticing too how there's this ombre on the rug here. Yes. That transitions to green. Before we just had a gray rug, and you know, every time I walk into this room, I just see green. Mm -hmm. And I did the bench in the green 
but I still felt like there needed to be more green inside of here. So yeah. we pulled it into the rug. Different colors of green because yeah. at different times of the year, you get different colors of green. And this rug is really special. It's made in Oaxaca, Mexico by women weavers. And they vegetable dye everything wow. with insects and uh, flowers and plants. And that's how they get the dyes throughout the, uh, the rug. So do you cook a lot or? We cook a lot. That was yeah. one of the reasons why we wanted to move, you know, out of the city. You know, having a big kitchen, lots of light was really important. My husband loves to cook and, uh, you know, that's why we have all the cookbooks. Which is your favorite cookbook? And I have a lot of great cookbooks, but I think my favorite one would have to be my great grandmother's Good Housekeeping Cookbook. We, this was my oh, grandmother's, wow, and it has apart. like all of her old recipes that she used to make oh. us, some new, some old. This is sort of like our family heirloom cookbook. So here's the fire pit. We actually have a lot of laughs around here. Yeah. Like have our wine or hot cocoa for the kids. You know, to be under the the maple here yeah. and the willow. It's kind of dreamy. I could just chill right here and relax. Grab your rosé and, and then call yes, it a day. Yes, my rosé. <laughs> yeah. It's rosé time. Oh. I thought maybe we could end this segment with a little glass of rosé. Yes, please. Thank so you. So you can Best get the full ever. experience of why I like it out here. I'm not going to light the fire because it is warm It's out. hot. Please don't light the fire. But, but thank cheers. you so much for coming yeah. to my home. Thank you for having us. You guys us. have been great. So that's it for today of this home tour. So like and subscribe and then let us know in the comments below what your favorite part of the house was.